Hi, I'm Mark McHale. I'm the director at the Stony Plain Public Library, and I'm here to take you on a tour of our brand new facility. So the first thing you'll see when you uh, walk into the library is one of our friendly staff who will be able to help you at the front desk. We've got a wayfinding machine over there uh, to help you find your way around the new library, a self-checkout machine to help you check out your own books if we're too occupied. This large architectural installation. On the outside, we have the logo of the Lac St. Anne Métis Association. And then on the inside, you can see the medicine wheel colors of Paul First Nation. And then on the other circle, the medicine wheel colors of Alexis Nakota Sioux First Nation. We also want formal settings for people like community associations or sports teams to hold their meetings. You can see there's ample seating. There's also a sink, coffee, tea, that sort of thing. You can book this into, into the evening past our opening hours. The curved shelving helps create these little nooks and crannies. So while you're browsing for your books, you're very likely to find a nice place to curl up and do some reading. We really wanted to pay a lot of attention to noise in the new space. Along the wall, you can see shapes that are meant to resemble the skyline of Stony Plain. They're also baffles, so they help control the sound in the space. This is a place for uh, private study, and we also have bookable rooms where you can have a space to yourself, whether that's to write an exam, catch up on homework, or just to get away from the noise of the world. So this is a flexible space with movable furniture, plenty of storage, that partition wall will allow us to open that space up. We can move the shelving in that area. So when we have a larger event, we can accommodate a hundred instead of dozens. People with complex needs, their visits in public are often limited by toileting issues. We wanted to make sure that if someone's here for one of our programs, they're able to stay for the duration of the program, regardless of what their personal needs are. This wall's a little bare right now, but eventually uh, we're gonna have a lot of different pieces of technology for people to borrow. So what you might say is the crowning jewel of our new library is our automated materials handler, or as I've been calling it, our check-in robot. People will be able to just feed this machine and it sorts the books for us. So right now I'm just gonna turn you over to Leslie, one of our library assistants, who's gonna tell you a little bit about our children's area. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the train. It was our most requested thing to make sure that we included in the new library. We do have a ramp in the area so that this space is accessible to everyone. One of the features that is really important is the lower level of lighting and the a little hidey hole. It's accessible for kids who maybe have autism or attention deficit, you know, so we're trying to make it as accessible as possible. So the next thing, uh, I wanted to introduce you to Dar Dareth Hill, who's our technology coordinator, and he's going to talk a little bit about our creative space. So we have our 3D printer, which is set up here and good to go. And we have two Macs that are fully set up. We also have a collection of different uh, robotics that we can do here that we use as part of our programs. When we don't have programs running, anyone can come in, use the space. So you can sit down here, you can work on video editing using the Macs, you can uh, sit here, you can collaborate with different friends while you work on school projects. The only limit here is your imagination. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait for you to come down and see your library. Be sure to come here, sign up for a free membership, uh, and start enjoying your space. Thanks for joining me today.